Hello Squids, this is Squeeva here with another, uh, another, another, another Java tutorial. Um, I'm going to be doing more with 3D graphics using JOGL. Um, this is going to be a code tutorial. I'm actually going to code stuff, not just set up. But, um, uh, let me find the, there's, you need, there's something you need. Once I find it, hold on. Okay, yeah, alright. Alright, so what you need to do is a little bit of last part of setup. What you need to do is you need to go, I, I conveniently have them right here, but you need to go into your your uh, JOGL download library, the unzipped library, and you need to find out where you have all the DLLs stored. So pretty much just hunt down these DLLs, and then drag the DLLs into your project. Um, you can, uh, this is easier than what you could do, which is setting up native libraries. <coughs> but <coughs> this is easier. Alright, so, um, I'm kind of sick today, but don't mind that. So, create a, uh, create a, uh, create a new class and call it whatever. Uh, I'm going to call it setup and create. Now, I'm not going to be able to get everything done in this tutorial because I only have about 10 minutes. But I will upload all the tutorials, or I'll try to put it into one. All right. So start by creating a main method. Oh, I there you go. All right. So create that, and then create a constructor for your class. This one is going. To... Yeah, that's how you can. There you go. All right. So once you've created your constructor, what you need to do is you need to create a J frame. But um, you can put the J frame in the main in the main method. But I don't. I don't really want to do that mainly because that's not how we're doing it in school. So just uh, call up call up the constructor and then import swing. All right, and then create your new. Um, you can actually use op frames, but I I'm not using op frames because J frame is more object oriented, and I like J frame. Um, no, there. Okay, better. So then um, you don't have to set a title. I I just like setting titles. JOGL for YouTube. You can, you can call whatever you want. I'm just calling it that. And <coughs> F dot set size uh, I'm doing 800 by um, 800 by 800. And then I'm going to set it to resizable. Resizable. The, the reason, <coughs> actually, I'm gonna set resizable to false. The reason being is because um, JOGL, instead of traditional J frame, JOGL works by. Hold on. And actually, I think it's pronounced Jogel, but I like pronouncing J JOGL because it's sound, it's, an, it's an acronym. It stands for something something graphics library. Genius. Something something graphics library, yes. Alright, so once you've done that, you can run and this should work. This should this should make progress, yes. Okay, that made progress. Progress. Progress in action. Alright, so once you've created your uh, J frame, uh, you create a new class. Of course, you can you can go ahead and you can do the whole entire I'm not doing that. Oh, I am missing something. Alright. <coughs> right before resize. <coughs> F dot. Add. <coughs> window listener. New. Window. Adapter. Ah. There we go. 
we go. And you want to import window adapter. There you go. And then you want to create a new nested void. Public void close. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, right, right. Now I know what you're putting here. Wait, wait, where's my mouse? There we go. You want to do window event E. Uh, what? Where's, where's the menu? There. There we go. Alright. System dot Exit. Okay. Perfect. Zero. <coughs> perfect. <coughs> the reason for putting this is it's saying when you click on the X button for the window, it closes. Um, you don't need this so much for a Mac and um, I mean for Windows OS as much as you need it for a Macintosh computer because it doesn't actually close for a Macintosh computer. In fact, Macintosh computers, it, the JFrame usually just doesn't even close and you have to manually force quit it. But it works with Windows. Windows actually quits the process for you. Alright, I have four minutes left. It took me about six minutes to do just this. <coughs> this is going to definitely be two episodes. Okay. Uh, you want to create a new class draw? Oh, my voice got really funny there. And you want to extend for GL canvas. Okay. Yeah, extend for GL canvas. You want to import. And then you want to create a new constructor for draw. And in here, you want to do uh, GL capa capa capabilities. GLC, right, okay. And then once you've done that, you import gel capabilities, and then you do super, super, super. Ha 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 ha. Okay, here's a joke for you. Why, actually, I think I've used this one, but let's make this joke overused, shall we? Um, <laughs> why don't Java developers, why do Java developers wear glasses? Uh, pause the video, answer that in the comments, and then the answer is because they don't see sharp. Code, code. Uh, okay, whatever. All right, and you want to create a new draw equals new draw. You want to create a new object. Oh no, <coughs> that's wrong. It's called dr. Uh, new geo capability. Perfect. Okay. Uh, what's the error here? Syntax is new file type. Oh. What it? I don't know. Error. Um. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Yeah. Hold on a sec. Gosh, I'm tired. Sorry, that was. That was dumb. But now I have my school notes and crop. Close. Proximity. Close proximity. Conquered it. <laughs> Alright. Dot add. And we want to do dr. Okay. So, once you've done that, I'm going to end this tutorial here. Um, you yeah, will actually, I don't think I'm ending this tutorial here. No, I'm not ending this tutorial because I'm going to edit it. Yeah, no, never mind. Uh, forget what I just said. I'm ending this tutorial here. I'll see you in episode two. When um, yeah, I'll see you in episode two. Goodbye, guys. Uh, check out the channels of the other squids. Subscribe, like, comment the answer to that joke. <coughs> <coughs> mm, and check out Uncle Sam the Gamer. He's cool. He does. He does what? What's the, what's that game? Battlefield. Battlefield Three. He does that game. And Bioshock and. All those cool games. Alright, see you squids. <sighs> Informal outro.